The dominant stuff in the universe is nothing. It turns out empty space weighs something, and we don't understand why. Well, my name is Lawrence Krauss, and I'm Foundation Professor in the School of Earth and Space Exploration, the Physics Department, and the Beyond Center at Arizona State University. But more important, I'm the director of the new Origins Initiative at Arizona State, which will explore everything from the origin of the universe to the origin of consciousness. 13.72 billion years ago, not 6,000 years ago, but 13.72 billion years ago, the Big Bang really happened. Everything we can see in our universe now was once contained in a region smaller than a single atom, and it's really amazing. In a hot, incredibly dense, compressed state that expanded and, and formed our present universe. And, and what's amazing is that we can actually probe back to, not all the way back to the beginning, but with our current experiments, some of which are at particle accelerators, we can combine what we understand at the fundamental structure of matter to try and explain the universe as a whole. Because the neat thing about the universe, because it's been expanding, is that in order to understand the really biggest structures we see today, ultimately we have to understand the smallest structures because all of that came out of quantum mechanics at the very beginning of time. The amazing thing is we don't know about 99% of the composition of the universe. What we do know is, well, you and me and the stars and the galaxies and everything we see. But in fact, that's just the tip of a cosmic iceberg. Most of the universe is invisible. We, it, uh, the dominant stuff in our galaxy doesn't shine. We can weigh our galaxy using Newton's laws of gravity. And when we weigh our galaxy and all galaxies, in fact, we find that 90% of the mass of those things is not in stars. It's something that doesn't shine. And physicists, with their incredible linguistic perspicacity, have called it dark matter. And that dark matter is uh, the composition which is r right now not known. We think it's some new type of elementary particle, and we're actually going to do experiments here on Earth to look for it. But as bad as that is, it turns out that's not everything. The dominant stuff in the universe is nothing. It turns out empty space weighs something, and we don't understand why. But 70% of the energy in the universe is contained in empty space. The biggest surprise in the history of physics in the last century. And that empty space energy is even weirder because it's gravitationally repulsive. A kind of cosmic anti-gravity, and it's causing the expansion of the universe to speed up. And all of that is totally unexpected. I think the, uh, the nature of dark energy and trying to understand what it is is probably the biggest mystery in science. So I think it's probably the most exciting mystery. I'm not sure it's the most accessible one. But at the same time, we're uh, excited because at another extreme of scale, we're about to turn on the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, which we hope will reveal to us new layers of the cosmic onion as we try and understand the fundamental forces of nature and perhaps even the existence of extra dimensions in nature, which would be really surprising. So, so we're opening a new window. And the nice thing about science is that every time you open a new window on the universe, you're usually surprised.